Alrighty guys, we're back for another day of practice. I've got the silver back back out, day two. And um, what I've done today, I noticed yesterday, to get me to see through my peep sight, I had to um, go back to my old anchor point, which was like two knuckles way back here. So what I had to do today was just raise the peep sight up a bit. And that let me get into the good anchor that Dudley talks about, knuckle in the, the thing, and then these two running down here. But the bad news is, I forgot to put my thermosil away yesterday, left it on all night. So that means it's out of juice. So I'm going to be contending with the mosquitoes again today. And yesterday I was rolling, and oh, last night, oh, I kinked my shoulder a bit. So my shoulder's a bit sore today. So get onto that. But because I've lifted the peep sight up, it means I'm going to get more cast on my sight. I'm going to have to lift the sight up. And I'm pretty... Oh no, I've still got a few clicks left. So I'm going to have to um, start close. Let's go do that now, actually. Start close to about like five metres or something. And work my way back to make sure I don't break any arrows. So I broke one the other day. Hitting the wall. Uh, when I move my peep sight. So you got to be careful when you move your peep sight because it'll screw everything up. Get your lens clean, clean it off. Alright, so here we are about 8 yards, 7 yards, eight, 5 or 6 metres. there and make the lighting a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just going to lift it up to off now. Okay, let's give it a go. Everyone was telling me it's the front shoulder that stops the release from going on. I know I was struggling yesterday to get set off because my front shoulder was creeping up. So I've got to keep that front shoulder down today. Look at that mosquito already. Got you bastard, I only got blood on my shirt. Bloody mosquitoes. All right, let's have a go. Funny in the morning when I first start, I must just pull into the bow because that just went off without the. As soon as I let the thumb off, it went then. So in the mornings when I'm fresh, I must just yank into it. Or maybe I've got good form till it starts to wear out. Either way, she just went off then. Same thing again. Having that front shoulder low makes it so much easier to set off. I just got to pass through on the target. I need to get any target, but.
I just allowed me a peep, so just a fraction. Okay, so I'm pretty good at that distance. Let's move back. Another couple of meters. There we go. Sounded like I went straight through the target. Look at the wall. Right, since I bring that anchor in a bit too, I think it's given me more. But you can go. And there's all the arrows. One, two, three, four, five, and six in there somewhere. All right, let's move back a bit further and see how we go. All right, I found where the arrow is. Look at me target, then I've got hay bales. Sugar cane mulch that's gone through the target, through the rubber, through the sugar cane mulch, out the back, through a pot plant, and into the stinking wall. So now I've got to try and get this arrow out somehow. There we go. I'm covered in mud. Definitely going to have to get a new target. Alright, let's get into it. Is there no light glare? God, that glare's bad. We're nearly back at 18 metres. We're really nearly back at 18 metres now. So let's give that a go. Hopefully we're still close to the target. The further we move back, the more into the mollies we get. The front shoulder's a bit slower as well. I think we're good to go back to 18. Sights are all set.
Okay, that one wouldn't go off again, so I'm guessing there was something wrong with the alignment. Probably the front shoulder again. Just remembered I haven't glued my weight back on yet. So we'll try again, take two, see if I can get it to go off. Really make sure you get everything perfect. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if I'm looking any better or any worse than that form factor. I'm grouping all right. Oh God, how many arrows have I lost this time? Two in there. God damn it. All right, let's get these arrows out. All right, let's get into them. The skidders are so bad without this thermocell, so that thermocell is definitely working. Definitely works good.
These mosquitoes are doing my head in. They're driving me crackers. Yeah, so I started shooting the black part of the target scene I was getting past through. It stopped it. it. Seemed to make it a bit better. God, I'm bright. Okay, so I'm absolutely getting destroyed by these mozzies. I think I'll do one more end. I might have to go get some more thermocell cartridges. Some more butane to pump it up. Alright, so there we go, shooting into the black. Let's get into the last one. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah, she's a bit dark. taken heaps less effort to um, set it off now so I must be getting a little bit better at this release I must be starting to get the hang of it because I'm really noticing I'm not getting that really hard pull anymore what's that bit of yeah a bit of archery all right guys so that's me done another round of shooting what was I saying yeah I was getting better at um this back tension I think getting better at um Finally working out what's going on. I think we form that front shoulder, having that really can making sure that front shoulder doesn't creep up really makes a difference. So yeah, really concentrate on that form. It's really got into it. My neighbor just distracted me a little bit. It's all good though. So I think that's it for today. I'm gonna to go get one of these thermocell recharge things because the mosquitoes are doing me absolute head in. And I might come out for another Arvo shoot or something maybe. Come out for it um, two day up. Twice in one day, I mean. So we'll get that done. Go get some more thermocell recells, recharge cells, and uh, get into it. So alright guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button for us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit all the other buttons there is. I'll see you soon for another video.